Animal shelters have had to make some tough decisions. The people that run them have been. Should they stay open? And if so, how to deal with the unique challenges? First News reporter Jason Surjack visited Angels for Animals this evening, which has remained open to see how the people there are coping. Ohio stay at home order has been in place for two weeks with all non essential businesses having been closed. And while some animal shelters in the valley have also closed, there's at least one that's still open for business. Angels for Animals in Canfield plans on staying open through the outbreak. Founder Diane Less says they haven't closed because she sees the shelter as an essential business. A lot of the shelters have closed. And these animals have to have a place to go. We're, we're not going to turn any of them away. Les recognizes that many of her volunteer staff haven't been making their usual shifts lately. A lot of the volunteers are older and they're nervous about coming out of their homes. So some of that work done by volunteers has had to be picked up by employees. The shelter has taken steps to keep visitors safe when they come to look at the animals. We started doing by appointments only like two weeks ago, a little over two weeks ago. Um, which has been really good. Um, right now it's starting to slow down. I think people are starting to get a little bit nervous. And that nervousness has little to do with the fear of transmission of COVID-19 from owner to pet, but rather being able to afford keeping a pet in the house. The thing that's going to be the issue is probably going to be economic issues. I would imagine that that's going to eventually be an issue. The shelter is coping well for now and hopes to be ready for the inflow of animals that usually happens in the spring. In Canfield, Jason Surjack, WKBN 27 First News.